Good evening, everyone. How y'all doing? People have asked me a few questions about the Antichrist, and I just want to do a quick video showing you where he will come from and when he will be revealed, and hopefully a few scriptures to show it. This is by no means a comprehensive video by any means. I just want to show you all what to expect. So let's begin. First of all, the Antichrist will not be revealed until after the rapture. In Revelation chapter 4, John is taken up to heaven and he sees the 24 elders. Those 24 elders are representative of the church. How do we know this? Number one, they are wearing crowns. Number two, they are dressed in white. And number three, they are seated on thrones. Crowns are only promised to the church. And in Revelation 3 verse 5, to the overcomer, and 1 John 5 5 says the overcomer is whoever believes Jesus is the Son of God. Revelation 3 5 says to him who overcomes, he will not blot out his name from the book of life, and he will be dressed in white. And in Revelation 3, 21, it says, Whoever overcomes, I will grant with him to sit on the throne next to me, as I have sat on the throne next to my Father. And in Revelation 5, verses 9 and 10, we see the song of the 24 elders. It says, You have made us to be kings and priests unto our God, and you have purchased us with your blood. Out of every tribe, kindred, and nation. <clears throat> Jesus did not purchase angels with his blood. Jesus purchased the church with his blood. And in Revelation 1 verse 5, John speaking about the church, says they are kings and priests to our God. So the 24 elders in Revelation chapter 4 and 5 can only be the church and they are already in heaven. And then in Revelation 6, verses 1 and 2, we see a white horse going forth conquering and to conquer. The white horse represents the Antichrist making his appearance, conquering the world. So we see the church in Revelation 4 and 5, and we see the Antichrist in Revelation chapter 6. And furthermore, in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says the man of lawlessness, or the Antichrist, will not be revealed until the one who leteth, or hindereth, will be taken out of the way. This person who is taken out of the way is most likely the Holy Spirit indwelled in the church. The Holy Spirit is not gone, but his role as a restrainer is gone. Along with the Holy Spirit, the church has gone with them. So, the Antichrist will not be revealed until after the rapture. The second reason why Joe Biden or whoever else is not the Antichrist is because the Antichrist will be of Roman descent. Let's take a look at scripture. In Daniel chapter 7, Daniel has a vision of four beasts riding out of the earth. The first one was a lion. The second was a bear. The third was a leopard. And in Daniel chapter 7 verse 7 it says this, After this I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible and strong, Exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth, it devoured and brake its pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten horns, and I considered the horns, and behold, there came up another one, a little horn before him, were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots, and behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, and the mouth speaking great things. And I beheld till thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head 
like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery furnace. And, and this is the vision of Christ. Um, I won't read the rest of it. But he goes on to say that these four beasts are four kingdoms that will rise out of the earth. The first kingdom, the lion, was Babylon. The second, was the bear, that was the Media Persian Empire. The third one was Greece. And the third one was the Roman Empire. And that little horn was the Antichrist rising up out of that Roman Empire. So we know from this chapter that the Antichrist will rise up out of the ancient Roman Empire. In Daniel chapter 2... King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream with the big statue of horns. And it was basically the same as Daniel chapter 7. He saw four kingdoms that all arise. And the fourth one had ten toes. And then, so we see four kingdoms and we see the Antichrist arising out of the fourth one. So the Antichrist will be of Roman descent. And then in Daniel chapter 9, let's go there real quick. Again, speaking of the Antichrist, Daniel chapter 9. Daniel chapter 9. We'll begin with verse 24. It said this, Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city, to finish transgressions, to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to set up the vision and prophecy, and anoint the most holy. Um, let's go down to verse number 27. Um, and he, that's the Antichrist, shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. That is a seven-year period, kind of like how we would say decade. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause a sacrifice and an oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abomination, he shall make it desolate even till the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the people. Now what it says, it says this. The people of the prince that shall come... That's in verse 25. The prince that will come being the Antichrist shall destroy the city. Um, it says, let me see here. Yeah, it, sh it shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and the end thereof shall be with the flood. The, print, the people of the prince shall, shall come. Now it was the Romans who destroyed the city and the prince that will come. It's the Antichrist. So once again we see that he will arise out of the out of Rome, out of the Roman Empire. Now the Roman armies which destroyed Jerusalem uh, was the tenth and the fifteenth legion. And most of those were Romans, there were Greeks, ancient Germanic tribes, and um, some as far as British. So we can see that he comes out of the ancient Roman Empire and he will most likely arise from Europe. So, so far what we see is this. The Antichrist will not be revealed until after the rapture. He will be of Roman descent and he will most likely arise out of Europe. And there's passages all over the Bible that says how the Jews will initially accept him as a Messiah until the middle of the tribulation. So the Antichrist at the beginning will appear very friendly to Israel, but then during the middle of it, he will turn on them. And finally, when you get to Revelation chapter 13, we will see that the whole world will worship the Antichrist. I won't read that I won't read the whole chapter, but I'll just read a few verses. Hold on a second here. In verse 4, it says this, And they worship the dragon, which is Satan, which gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast, saying, Who is able to make war with him? 
And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue for 42 months. That word continue, it doesn't say he reigns for 42 months. He says he continues for 42 months, meaning he has already reigned for a certain amount of time, which is also 42 months. So it's a seven year period. Let's consider, that's verse seven here. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given unto him over all kindreds, tongues, and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man has an ear, let him hear. So once again, we see that the whole world will worship this beast. The whole world will love the beast. So whenever a dictator or a tyrant comes into office, that is not the Antichrist. The Antichrist won't be revealed until after the rapture. He will be of European, of Roman descent. He will most likely arrive out of Europe. And the whole world will worship him. This is a very brief synopsis. Perhaps in the future I will do a more extended video. I just kind of did this one on the fly. Anyways, hopefully that answers any questions somebody will have. God bless.